Laura. Today I'm coming to you with another Dollar Tree haul. I went to the Dollar Tree as they were unpacking the other day and they had a whole bunch of new stuff and I picked up a few of the things that they had new. I think you're gonna love all the new stuff they have. I mean the store is endless you know so I can only pick up so much but the things that I do I think you're gonna enjoy. If you are a new subscriber I sure hope you consider hitting that subscribe button and sticking around for a while. Turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And if you are a regular here, thank you for being here and I appreciate you. Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into this haul. The first thing that I'm going to show you are these little votive candle holders. They are black, which is a hard color to come by at the Dollar Tree, but it seems like lately they've been having a whole lot of stuff in black. The rim of the votive is gold, so I thought that was really nice for a dollar. So I picked up three of these to go into my new decor that I'm changing, and I thought they were pretty nice. They did have these in a, like a greenish color which were pretty nice as well. We're gonna jump on into the crafting section. They had all kinds of new stuff in there. I just couldn't get enough. The first thing that I found finally at my Dollar Tree was this burlap trim. I had seen this being hauled a lot by other YouTubers, but I was never able to get my hands on it. But this is gonna go into some of the DIYs that I'm doing for my new decor. So I was happy to find that. And then the tie-dye thing is out in full force at the Dollar Tree. Look at all the colors that I was able to find for, for tie-dyeing. I have not tried these yet, but I was excited to try them. I did get a green, and this is uh, by the Crafter Square. And it does come with a little bag, the powder, and some rubber bands, I believe. And it gives you the instructions on the back and the color. So I got the green, I got the yellow, I got the turquoise, I was happy about the turquoise one, and purple, we got the red, and the fuchsia color. So the, and, and I took every single color that they had. So I don't know if they have other colors. I was hoping to find black, but I didn't find it. They also came out with this other brand, this one here. I have never seen these at our Dollar Trees. It says 3D Fabric Paint. I have not seen these before, so I'm gonna give these a try and let y'all know in a future video. And it does say permanent paint, and it looks like it doesn't give you the color that it is. This one, oh yeah, black, shiny, red, shiny, and white, shiny. So we know they're shiny. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I did find a whole bunch of laser cutouts. They are calling them laser cutout craft icons. And look at all the ones that I picked up. So let's go through them one by one. I did pick up doubles of a couple of them. These uh, cross and you do get two of these in each one. So you get two, two, and two. So you get a total of six pieces. And this one as well, these are birds. These are really nice. Okay, and then we got some stars. They had a really good variety of these. And then we got some leaves for the fall. I think those are gonna be really nice. We got some flowers, we got some roses and some and then I got another set of crosses, but these are a little bit different than the first ones. And then I got the Almighty Owl. I was happy to find the owl. I love owls. So I thought those were pretty nice. Look at all these. They had just restocked them, so I got lucky. Okay, I did pick up some more of the metal, some blanks. Okay, I picked up two of these. The blanks, I finally got my Cricut machine. So I'm gonna start using it. I'm so excited about that. And then I picked up a heart. And what I've been looking for are the mason jars. And looky here, we finally found them. So I picked up two and they had a whole bunch. So they had just restocked. I think they're gonna become a permanent item there because every time I go, they're restocking them and restocking them. So these are a great find. 
And for the size, I think they're really great for people who are using their, their machines to make decor with these. Okay, we're gonna jump on into the food and snacks. I found this new Carolina Country Snacks fried pork skins or pork rinds. And it's a salt and vinegar flavor. And I have tried this brand. It seems like it's gonna become a regular at the Dollar Tree. It is a good product, guys. Very fresh product. Tried several of their of their snack items and they're really good. In the container section, I was able to get another one of these bonus uh, containers. This is for a two cup portion. And these do come three. Normally they're just two, but this is a bonus pack. Always look out for those bonus packs. It's a really good product. And in the drinks, I picked up this Arizona all natural flavor watermelon fruit juice cocktail. I have never tried this, but I see a lot of people hauling them, so I'm assuming they're good. And right now that it's super, super hot out with a bunch of crushed ice, I think it would be great. And on the same note, I picked up this Arizona iced tea with lemon flavor. And I mean, that's just a basic tea. And by the way, guys, I really appreciate when y'all give the videos a thumbs up. That really helps me out on the channel. So if you're the one giving it a thumbs up, thanks a lot, guys. Okay, there is a new brand called the Deli Market, and this is mustard, 20 ounce size. And this is put out in the United States by Olds Products. And I thought that was a pretty good size for a dollar. And then by Campbell's, I picked up this 19.75 ounces, which is one pound plus three ounces of the pork and beans. I thought that was a really good buy. They are putting in a lot of Campbell's products. And I mean, this is a good product, you know, for barbecuing with hot dogs on the side. This is a great product to have. The one thing that I had been looking for is this Japanese style breadcrumbs, the Kelowna Panko. And this is the original Panko and you get seven ounces of this stuff. This stuff is really, really good. If you wanna try making some, it tells you a little fish stick recipe on the back. If you like making your own chicken strips and at home, this is great. Try it with the panko, you'll really like it. It's really nice and crunchy. Okay, and the last thing of this haul, guys, are some stickers to go with the DIY paints. I did get this DIY cloth. Let's see if it says, it does not say a size, but they sell this. I'm gonna open it to show y'all to see what size it is. I haven't done a tie-dye project in a while. Okay, so it's just a cloth. Oh, it seems pretty big. And it's just like that. Like a yard of material, of fabric. So that's gonna be a good project. You could even cut them in half and practice with your designs for the tie-dye. So I thought that was pretty good for a dollar. Okay, and on the stickers, I found these glass stickers. They go on glass, and I thought those were so pretty. And then I found these 12-piece uh, silver flowers. Look at how nice those are. I really like those. And I like that they gave us a large variety of different flowers. Okay, and we finally come to the last item of this haul, guys. It was a small one, but I thought there was some cool finds. This is by Crafter Square, the cross stitch kit. And it's three hugs. It contains the fabric, the needle, the sheet, and four threads. Look at that. And then it shows you kind of in the back. That is so nice. I just thought that's a really good crafting product for a child, you know, even a small, you know, eight to 10 years old that they can do these and start practicing on these. That's pretty good and it gives you everything you need. So that's gonna do it for today, guys. That was everything in the haul. If you have a product that you want me to be on the lookout for, let me know in the comments. Okay, and that's gonna do it for this haul, guys. It was a small one, but I thought there was some interesting new finds. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, thumbs up for the video and share with family and friends. All right, I'll see y'all later. Bye.